something, you might notice that it's getting a little darker earlier. And when that happens, we start thinking, well, we should be thinking always about safety around our homes and some of the littlest things that we can do that we don't. And one is lighting up your home. You know, whether it's, it's floodlights on the outside of the house, whether it's your porch lights, I am constantly amazed at how dark some of the neighborhoods are when it's so easy. Now, you can make the argument, these right here, those two old floodlights, those are 100, old 150 watt per, so you have 300 watts of power right there. All right, I understand you don't want to spend that kind of money. But now, with LED bulbs, look at this. LED bulb, this gives you 120 watts of light for 16 watts. It's about keeping two night lights on. All right, nobody ever argues about keeping night lights on, so why wouldn't we leave these on all night long? Now, you might say, well, I have a motion detector. You know what, motion detectors, you know, so when someone comes walking up, the light, the light turns on. Here's my problem with motion detectors. I don't want anyone up around my house. Why not just keep it lit up at night? That's what I would do, that's what I do. Now, neighbor Ted over there, He's got the motion sensor, because every time I go out and get in my hot tub, his lights come on. True, true story. All right, even and when you have areas like this, so you see the deep well there where, you know, a window that somebody can get into the basement. That's why we like to keep those areas lights up. But you can do it for practically nothing. And then you can also, if you like, if you can't remember to turn them off, you can hook them up to a, a you know, a dawn to dusk uh, sensor so it goes on and off or you can actually put in a timer right in the switch. So those are some of the things, but light it up. Don't wait for someone to break into your neighborhood before, because that's always what happens, isn't it? You know, there's a break in, like we had a car stolen from outside the front of our home, and people wait, and then we turn on the lights. Why not turn on the lights right now? All right, a few things that you can do to your doors too. Check this out, this is, this is the standard plate, all right, that comes with most of your deadbolts on your house, and you see the screw. Well, you know what? One kick, and that thing just, the, it just splits apart. So you can buy replacement plates, and some of the better locks will have them. This screw then gets all the way into the frame, the 2 by 4 frame, and so when that guy, the burglar, gives that thing a couple kicks, He's just going to go to another house because they don't want to work that hard. Obviously, that's why they're stealing. All right. And there's other things to reinforce the actual edge of the door that slides over the door. And so that uh, secures the door. So easy things that you can do to make your home a little safer. If you ha and if maybe you have that a door that you're worried about, you can always put a wedge on it. This goes underneath. Uh, this goes on the inside, and then you just wedge it to the floor so no one can open the thing up. And, of course, sliding doors. This one actually has a nice lock on it, but if you don't, you know what, it doesn't hurt to cut. You can get adjustable ones, or you can just cut a broom pole or a dowel rod and just lay it in there, and then at night, that keeps that thing nice and secure so someone can't pick it up. But the better doors, you don't have to worry about. The uh, sliding doors have gotten much better. Need an LED light right there.